Let's consider 8x squared, subtract 4x plus 6, divided by 2x. I start the same way. I divide the 2x into each term. So I have 8x squared divided by 2x, the 4x divided by the 2x, and the 6 divided by the 2x. Now we simplify. 2 goes into 8 4 times. x squared divided by x is x. Again, I keep the base, subtract the exponents, that's understood to be 1. 2 subtract 1 is 1. 2 goes into 4 2 times. I keep the base, subtract the exponents. 1 subtract 1 is 0. And here I do not have an x on the top, so I just leave it on the bottom. I do reduce my fractions. 2 goes into 2 1. 2 goes into 6, 3. So I'm left with 3 over x. Now x to 0 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So my final answer is 4x minus 2 plus 3 over x. Now it's time to see if you understand how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. I'm going to give you a couple problems. As soon as you have copied down the problems, stop the tape, work the problems, and then restart the tape to check your answers. I want you to divide these two problems. The first one, 25x cubed, y to the 8th, subtract 30x squared, y to the 10th, divided by 5x, y to the 8th. The second one, 8x to the 4th minus 6x cubed plus 10x squared divided by 2x cubed. Here come your answers. The answer to the first one is 5x squared subtract 6xy squared. The answer to the second one, 4x subtract 3 plus 5 over x. If you disagree with either of these answers, be sure to check with someone. Now we're to the really fun part of today's lesson, long division. In order to help you understand long division of polynomials, I'm going to simultaneously do a long division with whole numbers. So let's start with a long division with whole numbers first. We're dividing 52 into 1290. One. I write the long division for polynomials the same way. We're dividing x minus 2 into 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. It's hard to see them all on the screen, but you write it the same way. Now I divide 52 into 129. Now we start by saying 52 into 1, it won't go. 52 into 12, it won't go. 52 goes into 129. Now I do not know my 52 tables. So to make a good guess as to how many times 52 goes into 129, I divide 5 into 12. Now 5 into 12 is 2. So 52 goes into 129 about 2 times. So I divided now, think about what we did here. We divided the first into first. We divided the first into first, the five into 
12, the first two here. Now that's kind of the, not exactly, but we just, we didn't divide the 52 to get my trial. We just divided the 5. We divided it into 12 to, to guess how many times 52 would go into 129. Now we're going to do the same thing with the polynomials. I'm going to divide the first into the first. So I'm going to divide 2x cubed by x. Or as I'm saying, x into 2x cubed. Well, x into 2x cubed is 2x squared. Because I have the 2. To divide powers having the same base, keep the base, subtract the exponents. 3 subtract 1 is 2. I'm going to line up my like terms. So x goes into 2x cubed, 2x squared. I put the 2x squared above the x squared in my uh, dividend. Now over here what happens? Well once you divide, then you multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. So I multiplied the 2 times the 2, the 2 times the 5. So I multiplied the trial divisor by, I mean the trial quotient by the divisor. So we multiply the trial quotient by the divisor. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to multiply the 2x squared times the negative 2. I'm also going to multiply the 2x squared times the x. 2x squared times the negative 2 is going to be a negative 4x squared. 2x squared times x is... 2x cubed. So once we divide, what we do next is to multiply. Now once we get through multiplying over here, what I do is to subtract. 9 subtract 4 is 5, 2. So I have the 25. What I do on this one is also to, to subtract. But the way you subtract polynomials is to add the opposite. So the opposite of a 2x cubed is a negative 2x cubed. I'm going to circle show I've changed the sign. The opposite of a negative 4x squared is a positive 4x squared. Now 2x cubed and a negative 2x cubed gives 0. A negative 3 plus 4 gives a positive 1x squared. Now over here, once I subtract, then I bring down. Now to guess how many times 52 goes into 251, I would say 5 into 25. Now 5 goes into 25 5 times, but 5 would be the trial quotient. It's not going to be correct. What will actually be will be 4. Now long division of numbers is harder than long division of polynomials in that respect, because polynomials, you'll never run into that problem. It will always be what you get when you divide the first into the first. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring down, and then I'm going to divide again. I'm going to divide x into x squared, first into first. So we do x squared divided by x. To divide x squared divided by x, I would keep the base x subtract the exponents, 2 subtract 1 is 1, so this is going to be plus x. Once I divide, I multiply, so I'm multiplying over here, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 5 is 20, I subtract, that would be 3, and I had to borrow, so that would be 4. So I say my answer would be 24 and 43, 50 seconds. Well, we're going to finish up here the same way. We multiply. X times a negative 2 is a negative 2x. X times x is x squared. Once we multiply, we subtract. Do you subtract by adding the opposite? X squares will cancel. And a positive 2x plus 2x is 4x. I bring down. x into 4x is going to be 4. See, we're doing 4x divided by x. That would be 4x to 0, which is just 4. 
Now multiply. 4 times the negative 2 is a negative 8. 4 times x is 4x. Add the opposite. The x, 4x's will cancel, so that leaves me with 7. So my, I write my remainder as plus 7 over x minus 2. So notice the similarity between division by whole numbers, division by polynomials. 